Hey, all you guys out there. We are at Metalworks in Mississauga, Ontario, doing the latest vote of. Pretty brutal. Pretty heavy. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so if you don't know, Metalworks is in Mississauga. Pretty awesome place and fairly legendary. Guys like Prince, Tina Turner, um, Triumph, uh, Drake's done work here. Lots of great plans. Lots of great stuff going on. Um, so it's pretty amazing. I mean, just take a look at this. Here, let's spin around. So we get to use a gorgeous SSL 9000K series board, which has tons and tons of faders and so much stuff that it's hard to understand, it's hard to comprehend, but it's just beautiful. We've got some great Neumann monitors, some Yamaha monitors up there, and some smiley faced Farfields up there. So that should be lots of fun working in Pro Tools HD, of course. And then we get down to our effects rack. So cool. So much stuff. Some DBXs, some Orbans, focus rides, more DBXs. These guys here are pretty amazing. Right, right. Leaves. Some Yuri 1176s for all you gear nuts out there. Poltex. Yay! Anyway, we are just dialing in some drum tones right now. I can give you guys a little sample here. We're nowhere near complete, but nope. Let's take that. Take that part off. Just doing the loop. Check this out. I don't know if you can hear that well. Obviously, it's not going to translate through an iPhone very well, but you get the idea. So, should be lots of fun. Having a great time out here. Too bad I can't be with the band that they're not here, but, uh, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, and yeah, we're going to get up next with bass guitar. Uh, I'm going to see how the correlation goes in between the bass and the kick drum. Do that. And for that, I'm going to be using an, either a 70s Fender head and with an Ampeg SPT 8 by 8 by 10 cabinet, probably. Uh, still waiting to see. Or we're going to be using a 70s Ampeg, which should be pretty awesome. We're going to overdrive the snot out of that. And also, to complement that, we are going to be using this pretty amazing piece right here, the ISP Beta Bass. Uh, this has a whole bunch of great stuff in it, too. Uh, compressor built in, oral exciter, distortion. Plus, it has a decimator, so if you're playing with lots of bass, or lots of distortion on your bass, um, you have the same problems that you get with guitar. You need a gate on it, so this one has a gate built in, which is pretty slick. Uh, that we're going to be using for guitar probably later today as well. See how far we get. But uh, some Marshalls with uh, the new EVH uh, 5150 pedal. So see how that goes together. Apparently, uh, should use it with a pretty clean amp. So we'll see if they've got a Fender here too from the. Uh, late 80s I believe I'm not sure which one yet I haven't seen it yet and then we've got made in Canada diamond drive pretty awesome also made in Canada seeing as we're Mississauga and we're Canadian and that's just how it runs a diamond compressor pedal probably won't use that on the bass but we'll see on the guitar how it works uh, we have a AKG C414 uh, capsule has been replaced with a C12 if you know what that is, that's pretty amazing. Sick. SM57, classic, you know, scratch your head with it, all that kind of stuff. Picky nose, still works. And the Electro Voice RE20. This one's seen a, seen a good life, you can tell. So it'd be pretty interesting to get the, the life story of some of these mics and what they've done, and all that kind of thing. And then, big empty couch where you could be sitting. You could. All you got to do is come down to Mississauga at Metalworks. Hang out with me. Uh, yeah, anyway, we'll keep working here. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.